my name is Johnson. We want to buy down some mustard laces from Malacca. Now I want to show you. Without further ado, let's get into it. Firstly, I check the schedule online in advance. To be safe, it's usually a good idea to book tickets at the bus station. It takes about 2 hours or 3 hours drive from Kuala Lumpur to Malacca. It's really cold on the bus, so whenever I travel, I always bring a blanket. Interestingly, this is my first time that I have seen a female driver. When I got off the bus, I just found a hotel near Jungle Street. You know, Malacca had a varied history, having been colonized by the Portuguese, Dutch, and British. And that search, you would find a lot of influences from all of these former colonial powers in food, culture, and even language. There are many old buildings on both sides of this street. It's just really a commercial street. In the afternoon, I just hung around. There are a lot of interesting souvenirs that you can find them easily on this street. I highly recommend you to visit this temple you can enjoy over the old city. As you can imagine during the colonial era when the Dutch Portuguese or British took charge of the city. Malaysian soldiers used the cannons there to protect the city from the invasion. You should visit the Florida Lama, which is a museum. I suppose that the museum brings you closer to the history of Malacca. Another really chilling activity that I highly recommend is the cruise on the Malacca River. The tour start every 30 minutes and you know the river cruise is a great way to explore Malacca. As I know, you know, Malaga began from this river as a fishing village. So the cruise shows the history of the town and its unique beauty. In 
Initially you can take two tours in different times, one during daylight to enjoy old buildings, another one before sunset to enjoy colors. morning I went to Dutch Square or Red Square which is located in the center of Malacca. You would feel the time travel back to colonial era at Dutch Square where you can find the Malacca surviving parts after the war. According to experts, Dutch Square is believed to be the oldest Dutch building ever existed in the East. Thank you for watching my video, I really appreciate if you like, share and let me know what you think and leave your comments below and see you next time.